Nearly a month after the RBI clamped down on the operations of scam-hit PNC Bank, the depositors say their woes have only worsened, with some unable to pay school fees of their wards, while others finding it difficult to meet medical expenses. Many fear that they might lose their lifetime earnings deposited in savings accounts or in the form of fixed deposits. So far, three depositors have lost their lives, apparently due to the crisis. Mukesh Ambani-led Reliance Jio has alleged that review of Call Connect charges by Telecom Regulatory Authority of India sabotages the Prime Minister's vision for Digital India and will hit not only the regulator's credibility but also investor confidence as the move protects vested interests of some old operators. Any change in implementation of original timeline of January 1, 2020 will end the free voice regime and is likely to increase tariffs, which is against consumer interest, Geo claimed. The State Bank of India will conduct an e-auction of 11 bad loan accounts on November 7 to recover dues of Rs 466.49 crore. In terms of the bank's revised policy on sale of financial assets, in line with the regulatory guidelines, the bank will place 11 accounts for sale to ARCs or banks or NBFCs and FIs, SBI said in an auction notice. E-commerce giants Amazon and Flipkart have been asked to disclose names of top five sellers on their platform, price list of goods, of preferred vendors and the kind of support provided to sellers, according to sources. The Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade in separate questionnaires to these companies have also asked them to share their capital structure, business model and inventory management system. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman has said the negotiations between India and the US on a trade deal are going on in full speed and expressed hope that an agreement will be structured soon. The ongoing trade deal negotiations briefly came up for discussion during a pull-aside between Sita Raman and US Treasury Secretary Steven Nunchin at the IMF headquarters. Nunchin is scheduled to visit India early next month. The railways has decided to prune the railway board by 25%, cutting down its strength from 200 to 150 by transferring director level officials and above to zonal railways in a long pending move to enhance efficiency. The plan was first mooted in 2000 by the Atal Bihari Vajpayee government, which recommended right sizing of the apex decision making body of the national transporter.